I gotta watch out for infiltrators. Uh, Alright, those guys are there. Oh, yeah. The dragon. Oh, our team's actually middle! What? 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 <laughs> I always love this to play style right here. That was fair. Fair as heck. Welcome back to some more Mega Sky Wars today. And this actually is uh, pre recorded. So, unfortunately, I had it live. But my game sounds recorded, but my audio didn't, unfortunately. So now we're going to be talking over the video. Which I don't, I always do with my Call of Duty videos. So this is kind of frustrating. I'm sorry you're going to have to deal with it but I cut out a ton of the parts because it's not a live video it's 14 minutes long originally now it's like 8 minutes long so I cut out a lot of the boring parts and I guess this kind of sheds some new light like explaining uh, what, what I did in this video to win and I realize one thing I'm looking at myself without audio is how fast I work look at this I'm already cutting out a tree have my potions all in place I have the armor kit too which means I have prot 2 chest plate and prot 2 boots but if you guys didn't know last match, I also won as well on Sky Wars Mega. Spoiler alert, but it was a really good win nonetheless, and I was still on my team to win for it. And yes, it was a live video, so that's also why I'm explaining. That's what, it's a good video. Go back to it if you didn't already see it. But right here, we're going to go into another... If you guys didn't know, I went to another island this right here. Found two people and killed both of them. Um, also, Green Heeble are on my team. Red Heeble are not, so I got, got some good kills. Got a diamond chest plate. I'm gonna going into regenerate pots a lot in this uh, video, and yeah, this is kind of a nice video actually. Cause I can I can segment it, um, explain what I did each time. I'm gonna drink the fire resistance potion because it is good anyways to have. And then this guy here comes out of nowhere. He has like leather gear. He's so easy to pick off. But one thing I've been doing is I've been I've been a pushover, which means I've been like backing up and then getting hit and knocked off. So I run into the person just in case because I don't want to fall backwards. If you can't tell, I made seven diamonds. I have seven diamonds that are raw on me, which later I make uh, pants out of. So I almost have a full diamond on Enchanted, which later I get some lucky enchants. Right here we cut a little bit. We found some people trying to kill us with a bow. I realized soon that they all suck with their gear. And I make a pretty awesome play here. I'll explain what happens. So they're a terrible shot nonetheless. Guy who's good leaves. Guy who's still left has leather gear. I get two shots on him with a power one bow. I know he's weak, so I run after him. He somehow escapes my grass, but I know that they're running into doom right now because they're going to middle, and middle has people with like prop four gear. So what I do instead of following them and getting killed along with them is I break the bridge connecting our two paths. Because right there in the middle of the castle, if you can't see the tanks right there, those are people with like prop four gear, golden apples, and pearls, and they are not ready for that fight, so they will definitely lose that. Right here we cut as well. This is my luckiest enchant session ever almost. I get prot 1 on every piece of diamond along with prot 1 on my sword. So really good luck there. I couldn't get like unbreaking which sucks um, right there. I also got, I got a new skin as well if you can't tell. It's a clone trooper skin. And then for the rest of this video before the uh, final fight, there's two refills. One refill is to get more potions like speed pots and stuff like that and then like regular gear you usually get. And then the second refill, which you'll see right here, is Ender Pearls, which is really good. So the same gear responds to both of them, but the same time around, actually, it's Ender Pearls. So this is going to be key in actually winning the fight because Ender Dragons are the. This is in the right, right hand corner, says Doom. And that means in one minute and 40 seconds, they're going to have Ender Dragons come out of nowhere. They're going to break the blocks and hit you in the air. And what you want to do when you hit in the air is place an Ender Pearl um, and shoot on the ground before you fall take the full brunt of the, of the damage. So it's a really smart tactic I usually imply to myself. I get about 10 inner pearls here and get ready for the fight, which actually is, comes down to who is running longest with the inner dragons, which uh, I'm pretty good at actually. And I thought I would be dead because we were on the outer ring and also along with inner dragons, this wall around the outskirts starts closing in on you. And why it says the game will end in a certain amount of time is because the game can't go much longer than that. And I'll explain why. The walls close in so much and hurt you so much that you, you can't live beyond the five minute mark when it says game in. So this event right here is Inner Dragons. It gets really bad 
a ton of them gets torn up, and it's a pretty epic battle here. We have to deal with the Inner Dragons, which actually is a fair win because last episode I won. Um, I put in the caption that I got he got killed by an Inner Dragon and not by us. So it just shows you gotta be careful with all your options because not back because knockback in this game is the worst. Right there, I get hit by Inner Dragon. I get scared of throwing Inner Pearl, and I hope it doesn't hit the side of an island, but it does not. Luckily, so I'm safe there. I'm just really uh, trigger happy because of the Inner Dragons. There's like two of them right now, but it gets down to like five of them. And then right there, you can see our teammates, there's three of us, but it gets down to just me because I have Enchanted Gear. If you can't tell, they have no Enchanted Gear at all. So they're kind of dumb in that regard, and they kind of get hit up and killed. But for me, my Prop 1 Diamond Armor, I'll be safe from like almost any fall. It's all that my Inner Pearls on me. I can absorb the damage pretty well. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy fight. This is like the good last bit of it. There's evil middle with Prop 4 gear, but it doesn't matter. Blocks are blocks. If you fall off into the void, nothing will protect you from that. It's instant rip. So it's really good to know about that when playing Sky Wars that this game is not your typical let's fight it out. It can end in so many different ways. It's so unique in its own sort. And this is why I've been failing so often for because there's 100 people. They all have different strategies in their head. There's snowballs, arrows, everything, everything flying up in the air along with this mess at the end. So you just know you're going to have a battle the whole way. Um, even if you go middle early on and you have it easy and get good prop 4 gear. So, hopefully I've been commenting pretty well for you guys. I know once again I'm sorry it's not a live feed of me talking. It would be a lot more entertaining, I know it would be. But maybe it's not that bad, like I said before. Look how fast I'm working. So I skipped a lot more for you guys. The editing software I use has really bad overlay with the, with the voice, so I decided to cut out a lot out. I shouldn't have just used Audacity and then synced it up and watched it and reacted to it. But uh, I'll think next time when this happens, I guess. But this is coming to the end. This is really close to the end. The one guy in the middle, um, I was thinking about fighting him this whole time, but then I realized, now it's not a good idea. His gear is too good. Um, he's probably a prop 4 gear. And we'll, I'll try to win it out with just being the awesome guy who dodges dragons. Hope you enjoyed nonetheless, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.